What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. If you're back, what's up? I haven't found a little name for my uh, subscribers yet. I've been thinking about it, but first of all, everything is taken. And then second of all, I just I feel like I can't think of anything creative enough, but I'm coming, I'm coming with something soon. Y'all please forgive me for falling off so, so, so hard, but my life y'all is like a spinning wheel. It's always something going on. The twins just turned one. I think I'm gonna do a little life update or something soon. That way, you know, you guys can see what's going on in my life and why I don't have time to do this. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be coming soon. But right now I'm gonna do the Q&A that I promised like two months ago. I tried to sit down and film it one time. I wasn't feeling how it looked. The lighting was off. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it on a different day. And like six weeks later, today is the day. So anyways, um, I'm recording on my phone. So I wrote the questions down. So I'm just gonna jump into it. I have read through the questions and kind of answered them in my head. But I'm just gonna go through and give you guys my answer off the top of my head. So yeah. Okay, so question number one. When's the wedding day, sis? Um, so y'all, wedding planning is hard. Like, <laughs> it's intense, especially when you have kids and you still have work and all this other stuff. And I know people do it all the time, but it's like, it's hard to prioritize that. But we are working on it. People ask us all the freaking time. We're gonna get married, y'all. We're just doing it in the right time. We're not trying to go into debt behind a wedding and that's number one. Like everything will be paid by the day that we get married. Not going into debt behind it. So, you know, just taking all that stuff into consideration. And yeah, um, I mean, it, it probably still is in 2019 for sure. Like we wouldn't have looked at the venues and stuff, but life happens, y'all. We have kids, we had, like I said in my first video, we're trying to get a car, we're trying to get a house and it's like, I'm gonna hand you all this money and I'm trying to say for this, like it's a balance. Gotta pray about this thing, it's tough. <laughs> but yeah, the wedding is coming soon. If not um, by the end of the year, then the beginning of next year. Next question, what finally pushed you to go into business for yourself and how's the transition? So honestly, I've always been the type of person that wanted something of my own. It's really hard for me to have a boss. Like, I mean, I obviously have a job and I've had bosses, but I don't know when someone, like, I feel like with a job, it just kind of boxes you in. Like, this is your day to day. This is what you do. And although, yes, I applied for the job and I got the job, so I knew what it entailed, like, that's to make ends meet like that is strictly what that is like i've always wanted to be um a businesswoman especially for myself um when i was younger i used to choreograph like little cheerleading teams and stuff like i've always just been driven to be i'm a leader at heart and bossy by birth because it is passed down from generation to generation so um i wouldn't i guess i don't know if that is what pushed me just like my god-given like my spirit and soul because it just it's always been a thing for me and maybe what you mean whenever you say pushed is to actually like put it on instagram and and start marketing myself um and i would definitely just say that probably my children like and you know just growing up like when are we gonna do it we can't keep talking about it and saying yeah, bro, you know, I want to do this. and I, No, we have to do it. So, I mean, I think that's what pushed me. I was a little afraid. I was very hesitant because I'm so hard on myself. And I'm um, also very, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Um, I can't think of the word. I'm just very meticulous. Like, if, if there, if I fail at something, like, I want it to be because I exhausted every single resource. Like, I done everything. I don't want my business presence to be um to not be pulled together which is why I kind of pulled off of my Instagram a little bit um just because I wanted to make sure my content was planned out I didn't want to just be posting random stuff and it was planned out but then like I said life happened over the last couple of months and it kind of just I didn't have time for that so yeah um that's what pushed me if that answers the question and how's the transition um the transition is cool um <laughs> but it's hard, like it really is hard for anybody out there who doesn't have children, doesn't have a husband, fiance or anything, hasn't settled all the way in, go start you a business, go invest your money, go do something now whenever it's not tied up in, you know, your family and, and not in a bad way. It takes a lot of time. So my days 
literally every hour of the day is consumed with something. Six hours of sleep, six to seven hours of sleep, and then the rest of the day, whether I'm at work, or whatever like I'm always constantly working and thinking so um, it's kind of tiring but I know that the reward will be in my favor because I'm putting in a lot of hard work and I understand that in the beginning it is what it is it's gonna be hard but one day it's gonna run by itself so I'm just waiting on that next question what's the hardest thing about having twins um the hardest thing about having twins is just that, I guess at this stage is, y'all, it's all about time. I'm sorry. <laughs> at this stage, like, they require a lot of attention, a lot of care. Um, and a lot of people say, oh, when you have twins, it's times two. But y'all, it feels like it's times four. And my babies are like, um, they're, they'll never, they don't typically cry at the same time. Chloe will be fine and Zoe will be turned or Zoe will be crying and Chloe will be, or Zoe will be fine and Chloe will be turned or something like that. Bottles need to be made. Now they're starting to eat. So I'm about to start trying to like meal prep for the week so that when we come home, we can just pop, you know, their stuff in the microwave or wherever it needs to go and they can eat it. But um, yeah, I would just say the hardest thing is that our time is just reduced drastically. Okay, so the next question is, do you want more children? And y'all, it's like a 50-50 for me right now. Um, I do really, 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 really want a son. And I know Nick does too. However, you got to think about putting these kids in college. You got to think about these kids got to have a first car. The everyday activities, soccer, cheerleading, whatever, whatever. So right now, we're good, you know. But if things start to change, which I'm sure they will, you know. Obviously, we're only 25, but... When things start to kind of chill out, the twins are a little bit older, you know, we'll probably start talking about it because there is still a chance that we could have another girl. So it's kind of up in the air. Don't know yet, but I'll let you know when it happens. <laughs> Next question is, do you and your line sisters still hang out? Um, we do hang out. Like we see each other. Like if somebody's having an event, for instance, the baby's birthday party was yesterday. So most of them came, some were out of town or had to work or whatever, but um, it's just hard for us all to hang out. We all have totally different schedules. Me and uh, another line sister of mine have children or child um, and everybody is just working. Like it's just a lot. We live kind of spread out. So obviously in college, we were able to hang out all the time. This this was um, somebody who knew us from college and y'all knew we was always to get. But now it's just like so much going on that we really can't. Um, but we're cool, like, no, we're, there's no beef between us. Like, everything is cool. We all love each other. We have a group chat. We talk all the time. But we're just not able to get together as much as we used Next to. Next question is, how did you become an AKA? Um, <laughs> I mean, are you asking what inspired me to become an AKA? Um, and that would be my best friend's mom is an AKA. Um, we grew up through high school together and I just saw the type of woman that she was and how she held herself <clears throat> and her goals and her values and that just really drew me to the sorority but obviously there was no other option because because who because who no y'all see this scarf that was really not intended but yeah <laughs> um that's what drew me but y'all have to chill on asking about sororities and fraternities and i know people that are not in um sororities and fraternities don't really understand how it goes but at least for the black fraternities and sororities um we don't discuss that type of stuff y'all it's, it's a little thing called discretion and we use it so i'm not going to tell you how to become i don't i don't know y'all <laughs> if you're in college i would go to the events that the uh, sorority is holding and um whenever they have open admission y'all should go i don't know what else to say but that yeah okay so the next question is how much did your ring cost i'm trying to set up a payment plan somebody that doesn't follow me or maybe i just recently accepted y'all because i used to not accept any friends requests except from people that i really really knew I don't follow people that I don't know, but um, <laughs> yeah, I made my page public recently. I'm not telling you how much my ring costs because that's weird. If you want to set up a payment plan, honey, do what you got to do. I don't, that's weird. Honestly, I don't even know the full amount of my ring because I didn't buy it. So 
Ask Nick if he wants you to know he'll tell you child. Okay, okay, next question. What's your favorite feature about yourself? My favorite feature about myself, probably, okay, so I love my feet. Like, I really like my feet. I don't know why, they just cute to me. <laughs> and I like my lips too. So yeah, that's weird though. I'm not about to be uh, talking about myself. <laughs> Next question is, how did you and how do you, uh, how do you and Nick find time to go out and take care of yourself? I'm tired of these kids, girl. And the co person that asked this question also has three kids, but her kids are a little bit older. And I know her and her husband probably going through the same stuff. Um, how do we find time? We just talk about like during the week, we're like, oh, we want to go see this movie or oh, we want to go do that. And then we just set up time with our family. Um, so I would suggest that if you got the funds, you can get your little babysitter. I don't know about that type of stuff because I couldn't do it, but or take the kids with you. I know it's kind of tough or wait till they go to sleep and set up something in the living room. I don't know, but uh, it is hard to find time. So I feel you, but that's just the only way we can like just decide on something and do it pretty much. Okay, next question is, how is Journey with the twins? Um, Journey's amazing with the twins. She's a really big help. She helps out all the time. Like, I'm always calling her to do something or pick something up and throw something away. So, she's really good with them. Um, there's a big age gap. So, they're fun to her, but only for like 20 minutes. And then she's going back to what she wants to do, which is normal and that's understandable. But yeah, there's no issue. She's perfectly fine with them. Next question. How long have you and Nick been together? Uh, we've been together for four years. Um, we just celebrated our anniversary this month, a couple weeks ago. Next question. Will you quit your nine to five job soon to fully pursue your career? Um, I hope so. <laughs> I'm manifesting that. I pray that I can eventually do that, but I'm not going to do it before everything is stable. We've decided on it as a family. Um, so I don't really know the answer to that question. Um, yeah, and that is what it is. When my career takes off, then that's when I'll quit. Next question, what's your favorite TV show? I really don't watch a lot of TV, but I, oh, Iyanla is my favorite show by far. Like, I, I will sit up and watch episodes of Iyanla all day. Love it when it comes on on Saturday. I can clean up and watch Iyanla. Like, that's the best. So, yeah, I would say that's my favorite TV show. Next question, what would you do if you had twins again? cry <laughs> no i don't know y'all that would be hard i'll be thankful but twins again and we talk about that all the time because with zoe and chloe being fraternal that means that my body released another egg and although there aren't any twins in my family and the chance of it happening was super rare it does mean that i think i hyper ovulate which means that i release more than one egg i think that's what that's the term for it so if that happens, uh, Lord, I mean, we'll just have to live with it and it'll be what it is. But yeah. Do you plan on staying in Dallas your whole life? Uh, probably so. Both of our sides of the family are in Dallas and have settled in Dallas. So probably. However, I do want to own a house in California. I want it to either be a vacation home or, I mean, I guess we could do both a rental property that is a vacation home, but I really do want to have a house there eventually. Um, probably not in the near future because I know it's expensive child, but that I'm, I'm putting my big girl panties on and we're going to start saving for it eventually one day. It's going to happen. Where do you see yourself in five years? So I'm 25 now. Well, I'm about to be 26. So I'm, technically in five years, I'll be 30. Um, in five years, I see myself working full time in my career field of event planning for myself, Pink Lush and Co. Um, obviously, my kids will be older. Hopefully, maybe <laughs> one little boy. Uh, one little boy will be running around. Um, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. That's a good question, but I probably should think about that. Okay, and the last question is, why didn't you finish college? I didn't finish college. Well, one, the reason why I left was because I was taking care of my child all the way in Denton, and she was two at the time, and my family is all the way in DeSoto. Anybody from Dallas knows that that's one end of Dallas to the other, and I, that was the only care that I had for her. She was obviously in daycare while I went to school. Um, she did a home daycare because I do not like daycare centers at all. 
but just expenses y'all got expensive and all the traveling i couldn't i wasn't focusing enough on what i needed to because i know i knew that my first priority was providing for me and her so um that's the reason and i really don't plan on going back to school i literally only have one year left so it kind of is a waste but what i'm doing i don't need a degree for like if i was a doctor or, or wanted to be a doctor or wanted to be a nurse or a psychiatrist or something that really did require a degree then i would go back but everything that i was taught in school i mean y'all know how it goes like it is what it is. You can learn anything on the internet anyway these days. If I need to have like taken in classes or something, then I obviously do that. But I don't plan on it. And I, it is maybe I will, maybe I won't. But it'll it'll just be on a whim one day. But yeah. okay, you guys. So that wraps up this Instagram Q and A. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all, please forgive me, like I said, for taking this long hiatus. But I'm back. I'm gonna try to be more consistent. Keyword: try. I'm gonna try to put that right there. Um, I'm going to try to be more consistent, but it is hard. So y'all charge it to my head and not to my heart. If y'all have any more questions or if you have any suggestions on what type of videos y'all want to see from me, please do comment down below. Y'all like this video, subscribe, follow me on my social platforms, and I'll see y'all in the next one.